Rob Hardy writes, Hi John, love your show. I know the superhero questions come up a lot, but once I heard Edgar Wright and Joe Cornish were directing, writing, producing Ant-Man, I couldn't resist. I don't know if Attack of the Block was well received in America, but it was in England. It did okay. Anyway, do you think the film will be comedic and slightly spoof the sci-fi superhero genre? Because I don't think that that will fit with the Marvel Universe. Your thoughts? Um, first of all, I'm glad you brought up, we, people, we don't talk enough about the fact that Joe Cornish has written the screenplay for this uh, with Edgar Wright. Now, his film, Attack the Block, was really, really big in movie circles. Uh, what was it, about two years ago? Mm -hmm. That film came out? And I was late to the party with Attack the Block, and everybody just raved, this is the movie of the year, and this, like all of the people in my circles were just like, John, this is incredible, it's incredible, you gotta see it. And I watched it, and I was completely underwhelmed. And I think that I became a little bit of a victim of uh, unrealistic expectations that I built up for myself. I, I, I didn't love Attack the Block, but take that statement with a grain of salt that everybody else did. So if you haven't seen it, you might want to check it out. Uh, but it's very interesting. Now, as far as the, the question about, you know, this, you know, with Edgar Wright and Joe Cornish there, does that mean they're going to put some comedic spin on it and blah, blah? It's Iron Man, dude. I mean, Iron Man is loaded with comedy. Uh, Thor has a good amount of comedy in it. Um, and, and I think within Iron Man and, and those films, especially Captain America too, there is elements of kind of spoofing the genre in and of itself. So when you're asking you fear may not fit in with Marvel, I actually think that those elements perfectly position it to fit in quite perfectly with the Marvel universe they've built up. I mean, it certainly wouldn't fit in with a DC universe and, and the Christopher Nolan Batman universe. No, that wouldn't fit at all. But I think with the Marvel universe, the way they've set this up, I believe it actually fits in quite well, especially with anything Joss Whedon has his fingerprints on. So that's kind of the way I see it. Amy Rose, what about you? Yeah, not to mention Avengers. Avengers was very, very comedic Humorous, at times. Yeah. And, you know, I think that's what makes the Marvel film so great is that while they're grounded in reality, they also, reality, they also <laughs> don't take themselves too seriously. Yep. And for, to be superhero films, they do feel really grounded. And I think that's what makes them so great and so just tangible. Like, we're there with them in this world. So I, I don't think it will run. Edgar Wright, I'm really excited to see his take. I think he's a great filmmaker and I think that's one of the things he does really well is that he doesn't take it too seriously and he really works so well with his actors. And I mean, look at the magic that him and Simon Pegg have done together. I mean, it's it's great. So I do think Ant-Man's gonna be great. And just the little concept art and everything I saw about how the transformation's gonna take place and all of that, I think I think it's gonna be good. And if it, if it does take itself too seriously, I think that that's gonna miss and isolate some people. So I think the, the balance of the two is, is the way to go. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and we'll keep you up to date on all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to find out about our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.